Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about Neural Network MPPT controlled PV wind battery system and also it can be called as islanded hybrid AC and DC microgrid that means system will be operated in island and mode and the wind energy conversion system and the solar PV system will be controlled by means of Neural Network MPPT control concept. So in this simulation model, the neural network, right? So the neural network going to receive four inputs. So one is VREC and IREC and then VPV, IPV. So VPV, IPV nothing but PV voltage and current and VRC, IRC nothing but the voltage of the rectifier okay voltage and current of the rectifier in the wind, wind energy conversion system so here you can see that it consists of uh, uh, different system like wind energy system this one is wind energy conversion systems and then solar pv and then we have battery storage and then we have Islanded in motor control. Okay. So in wind energy conversion system, we are having wind turbine. So wind turbine is rated around 2.9 kilowatt. Okay. And then we have PM energy generator, permanent magnetism generator, and it going to be and that means the output of PMG is going to be connected to the rectifier so rectifier is going to be convert the DAC into uh, DC and then this DC power right going to be processed via this boost converter okay so this boost converter going to be controlled by means of this uh, neural network MPPT okay so this neural network MPPT going to be designed uh, duty cycle so based upon this VRC IRC. So VRC IRC already told right the rectifier voltage and current. So based upon VRC IRC, it will be decided the duty cycle. So this duty cycle right is processed via this speed limb generator, and this speed limb generator will be generated the pulse to control this MOSFET in the boost converter. So in order to extract the maximum power from the this wind energy conversion system. So this boost converter can be connected to the this DC bus. Okay. So here the DC bus going to be mated at 400 volt. So next you have to see about the solar PV system. So this is a PV panel. So PV panel rated at 2 kilowatts. Okay. So when you got to open, we can see that number of uh, parallel string is equal to 1 number of series string is 8 that means series connected model per string is 8 and a single panel is rated at 250 watts and then you can see the different uh, parameter like open circuit voltage short circuit current voltage at maximum power point current at maximum power point okay so here we are using 2 kilowatt PV panel and it will be connected to the boost converter and then the output of boost converter is connected to the DC bus as well as this DC load okay this boost converter also going to be controlled by means of this neural network so this neural network going to be designed this uh, second duty cycle right based upon PV voltage and current of the PV panel and it going to be processed via PWM generator so it will generate the pulse so this pulse going to be control this IGPT of this boost converter now to extract the maximum power from the PV panel ok and under already told right the DC bus voltage here we are going to maintain at 400 volt so in order to maintain the 400 volt right here we are using energy storage system so here we are using battery model so battery model we are using here is uh, uh, 20 12 volt batteries okay and then 
it will be connected to the DC bus via this uh, bidirectional converter. This bidirectional converter will be controlled by means of voltage control method. So that means we are going to measure the DC load. That means voltage of the DC load is going to be compared with 400 volt and going to be processed via PA controller. So the PA controller will be provided uh, duty cycle is going to be passed as a petrol generator and then it will generate the pulse for this bidirectional converter. So this pulse is going to be control this to IGP of this bidirectional converter in order to maintain the DC bus voltage around 400 volt. And also we are connecting AC load okay, in this common DC bus via this full bridge inverter and then LCL filter and then here we have two loads okay so each load having that mean 1000 watts and then another load having 1400 watts okay so initially this 1000 watts is connected to the system and then this 1400 watts load will be connected after two seconds and then here you can see that DC load right so here we are using 1000 watts and DC load okay and next you have to see about the the wind speed that means wind speed command for this wind turbine so here you can see that initially the wind speed is maintained at 12 meter per second after 2 second it going to be changed to around long point 2 okay and then we, we have to see about the irradiation so here you can see that every point 0.3 second so I am changing the radiation from 1000 watts per meter square to 500 so 500 to 10 watts per meter square and then again it changed to 500 and 1000 ok so irradiation will be changed for every 0.3 seconds so, so this is a total model of that neural network MPPT control PV in battery system ok so next time we have to test the model so now to test the model I am going to submit the model so I am going to open the all scope parameter so now I am going to simulate this model so as per our settings right that means initially irradiation will be 1000 watts per meter square and uh, wind speed equal to 12 meter per second so we will see the result of PV and wind and battery ok all detail ok so here you can see that we are getting PV voltage around uh, 250 volt right the current around we are getting 7 amps and then for uh, 1000 watts per meter square we are getting around uh, uh, 1900 I mean 1950 watts for 500 watts per meter square we are getting the power around uh, uh, 990 watts ok and then here you can see that so this rectifier and boost converter power of that uh, wind energy conversion system so here you can see that we are getting almost uh, 2.9 kilowatt right here you can see that for uh, 10, watt, uh, 10 watts per meter square the PV power is equal to 0 and then you can see that the power of uh, so the current of the PV is 0 and the voltage of the PV is around 50 volt only during uh, low irradiation condition and then irradiation change to 500 watts per meter square because of that the PV power uh, is generated around uh, 990 watts ok after that after 1.2 seconds right the irradiation change to 1000 watts per meter square because of that we are getting around uh, uh, 2000 watts from the PV panel ok so the maximum almost the maximum power is extracted by means of neural network in both uh, PV and the uh, wind energy systems and also here you can see that uh, because of variation of PV power so you can see here right uh, that means the charging current of the battery so it will be very initially is around minus 7 amps and then minus 5 amps and then it comes to uh, minus 10 or uh, minus 11 amps right so now we can see that and the after 2 second rate right, wind speed change from 12 meter per second to 1.2 meter per second because of that you can see that 
the power of the wind energy conversion systems goes to 2000 watts okay so here the battery is keep on charging mode condition now we can see that the battery current goes to uh, nearer to that zero amps and is around only one amp side and here you can see that this is dc bus voltage and dc bus voltage is almost maintained around 400 volt and then this is dc load current and then this is dc load power is maintained around 1000 watts okay and here you can see that this is load voltage load current and then this load power so from 0 to 2 second right low, we are uh, connecting 1000 watts ac load so you can see that the load power is around 1000 watts after 2 seconds we are adding uh, another load uh, having rating of 1400 so totally 2400 watt right so here you can see that we are getting 2400 and also you can see that the power and current right voltage and current so this is the voltage of this uh, load so this is the voltage of the so current of the load okay and this is the power of the ac load and here you can see that this is the inverter voltage and the current okay so here uh, that mean power balance is maintained between source and load with the change in irradiation and the change in wind speed condition okay so this operation of uh, the neural network mppt controlled uh, pv wind battery energy storage system so thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe to our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye